Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to build a pool heater from my previous video. If you haven't seen that one, you can check it out right here. And now let's just get straight into it. First of all, this is laser cutted, each and every plate from the design I have made previously. From this thin sheets of metal, I have created another one. And it worked perfectly, so I decided to scale it up, make it a bit better. Some improvements, which are the holes here. Um, you can make yourself here from this sheet of metal. If you get scrap metal, you got an angle grinder, a drill, drill machine for these holes in the bottom. You can make it for about 20, 30 bucks, probably. Let's start with the inside box. This board is made in two boxes. Inside box and the outside box to get the space for the water in between and I'll just start assembling the inside box I've labeled them so I don't have trouble placing them on I've got my box first inside box finished just need some welding. Now I can demonstrate how this works. You need a hole in a plate for the water to get in, for the water to go out. And you add the plate here. The water enters through the hole in that edge, fills this whole room with water all around here. When the fire is burning inside, this plate gets heated and the water takes that heat and comes out hot. That's the basic of it. Now I need to create the outside box. First, we need to weld this water tight. Well, this world may look cool on video because it's edited in that way. This is definitely what you should not do. Now you can see a clear difference. This is the world that's gonna hold water, most definitely. Don't do this stupid shit. It just looks cool on the video, that's it. Now we need to assemble the outside box to create that space for the water to flow through. This is the back side of a heater. And before I put the plate on, I'm about to show you all this space in between the plates. This is where the water is going to get heated. Now all there's left to do is put on the back plate and we're ready to go. So now all that you need to do is find a piece of tubing, like so. Make sure you have a hose from your pool to check. And if it fits tight, then that's it. You all you need to do now is put it on and weld around it. If you'd like to know how to weld, all you need to do is go left, right, a bit forward and a bit backwards, a bit forward and a bit backwards, at a steady pace and you're going to get a nice clean weld and I'm going to try to show you in just a bit, but that's it. Now we need to repeat the process with another piece of tubing, weld it here, and this is your enter point for cold water. It circles around the heater and exits at the top. 
So this is it. This is the pool heater, the finished product. Now I would suggest that you would paint it or galvanize it. It's gonna prevent the rust if your heater is not gonna be constantly filled to the brim. If you have some air in it, then it might rust because of the water and air mixture. But if the water is constantly filled to the brim, it's not going to rust. Or if you galvanize it, well, then just no need to worry about any of the rust. You can just have it hooked up all around the, all around the year. All you need to do is disconnect it in winter so it doesn't freeze and expand and explode. And I have used two of these heaters to warm up the 10,000 liter pool in winter. And it took me about three days to get the pool to 32 degrees Celsius. If I were to burn more wood, um, maybe a day or, or just maybe overnight, it would get to, let's say, I don't know, maybe 38, 35 degrees. And that is in the winter time. It's very impressive. Now imagine what this heater would do in summertime. You now if you can have a pool parties, don't have to worry about any of the cold. And this is it for today, guys. If you'd like to see some improvements or some of the project you'll try, you've been trying to do and you haven't been able to, well, I would like to take the challenge. If you've got any ideas, put them down in the comments. And if there is enough of responses, I will try to do some of them. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please like, share and subscribe.